Good morning. Well, just a bit of an update really. I've been away on holiday, so there's been no videos uploaded for about three weeks. Sorry. But all being well, next weekend, out camping. Now, there'll be two new things I'm going to feature in next week's video, all being well, as long as the weather's not horrendous, you know. Um, both of which I'm going to use on that camp, but I'm not going to go into massive detail. Uh, and the reason for that is I want to test them properly before giving you my, you know, thoughts on the thing. If they work out well, I will do a standalone video for each item at a later date, once I've had the time to really sort of absorb what it's all about, how well it works, things I like, things I don't like. And while we're on that subject, that's uh, another thing that I can guarantee you, I will always be objective with my review type of videos. You see so many videos out there where people get sent a piece of kit and instantly, first time using it, it's the best thing ever. And these people just want to build a relationship with that company and get more free stuff, basically. That isn't me. Um, whether I get it free or not, I will tell you exactly what I think. And I think people are starting to realise this, and it's partly, not everything, but partly why suppliers don't send me stuff. <laughs> Only the brave ones. If it's great, I'll say it's great. If it's rubbish, I'll say it's rubbish. Or if it's just something I like, but I can see one or two things that could be tweaked to make it better, in my opinion, it's very much a personal thing, I will say so. And some suppliers just don't even answer after doing that type of video. Some of them, the good ones I will say, come back and say, okay, we've seen the video, here's the reason why we don't do that, or, okay, we like that idea, we'll look at changing it, which is great. It's great to get that sort of feedback. But yeah, there's, there's lots of uh, funny shenanigans go on, shall we say, with a lot of review videos. I try to just keep mine simple to the point and honest. And while we think about review stuff, over the last, well, I suppose, year or so, have you seen how many bearskin hoodie videos there's been? <laughs> it looks a reasonable piece of kit, but I'm not going to spend that sort of money. This jacket I've got on is quite a blatant rip-off, I suppose. Although, I don't know who had the idea first. But if you look at the bearskin videos, you see this wrist closure? It's identical. The pocket layout is identical. Um, I know the first bearskin ones were just a, like a, a fleece type thing. It was about keeping warm, um, but they, they wet it out with, with heavy rain. Then they brought out a waterproof version uh, and all that sort of thing. But well, it sort of like crosses over that, this particular jacket. It, it, it's certainly showerproof. Um, I've never been out for a prolonged period in heavy rain with it. Uh, so I can't sort of guarantee that. Um, but it's been brilliant so far. It's warm, relatively waterproof with my experiences so far. And I sort of got it by default. I was looking for some insulated trousers for camping in the winter. I found some that I liked, um, but they were slightly more expensive than sort of like the air I was looking in. But when I looked in it, it's because this jacket came with it for free. Well, not for free. They came as a combo, the jacket and the matching trousers. 40 quid for both. So you could say a 20 quid jacket and 20 quid trousers. Maybe I was lucky, I don't know, but both have been bloody excellent. They really have. So there is some bargains out there. Anything you see in any of my videos, feel free to just, just you know, comment below, contact me on that particular video, whatever. I'll do my best to answer any questions and give you links to where I find the stuff. It's a bit difficult on YouTube because I don't always get the notifications that someone's commented on a video, so I might miss. Your, your question, shall we say. Uh, the ways around this, I do have a Facebook group, um, which you could message me through if you wish. Um, I can also, I can stick my email underneath here. You can email me. I'll do my best to answer your questions or give you the links 
to where I find the stuff. Right, so I think that is about it. That is my update for today. I only got back last night from a fortnight's holiday. It was a long trip and I was bloody knackered and I'm still tired this morning. The house uh, we rented um, on Madeira, we left there about 10 o'clock in the morning. I got through my front door nine o'clock last night. It was a long day, it really was, but in a very enjoyable holiday. I feel rested apart from the travelling back. So here's going forward. We should be camping next week. New stuff to have a look at. Let's crack on.